Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and uh, in today's video I have a Lenovo mini PC. This one is a Think Center and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to repaste to your own service for these PCs. So in this particular one I'm going to show you guys how you open this one. So yours might be a little bit different but it's the same logic. So what you want to do is first grab a screwdriver set which is this one over here, I use the iFixit tool set and we're gonna be using Philips number one. All right, we're gonna grab the Philips number zero or one and we're gonna remove one screw at the back of the uh, laptop, I mean, back of the PC. It's always the middle one back. Yours might be different color or different shape, so there is only one screw that you should remove beside the lock. All right, and next thing is always remove the top cover towards the front end of the PC. So just slide it toward, forward, and then you, as long as you can't go anymore, then you wanna lift it up and just bring it over. That's the top cover and that's the inside. Down here, we're gonna see the heat sink right here and the fan right over here. In this one, we upgraded on the Wi-Fi antennas. So first, we're gonna remove the Wi-Fi antenna, any Wi-Fi cable that is crossing over. Okay, put it to one side. Next, we have to remove somehow the fan. The fan is being held down by one, two, three screws. So we have to remove these three screws. The screw on this side has a C-lock on it. It will not come out. And neither does these two, I believe. So just loosen these three screws. And then lift up the fan. Okay. Put the fan to one side. Now down here you see the heat pipe, uh, the condenser, and the four screw that holds the heat sink on the board. So go ahead and remove these four screws. They have a seal lock on them, so loose them up. When you hear that click, that means it's already loosened up. Now you can go ahead and lift it up, but be careful with the speaker. Sometimes are attached to it. So pick it up this side and slide it towards yourself so you can get this side loosened up. There is this cable right here. That's the speaker cable. So unhook the speaker cable, just lift it up. And there we have it. This one is one of the worst thermal paste that you can have on the mm, PC. So these thermal paste are really trash. So you don't want to have this garbage thermal paste, thermal grease. These are the one that actually there are something like this one that I like get really low end thermal paste because somebody I'm guessing that opened it up and changed the thermal paste. To clean it up, you need a working towel and you need an alcohol. Go ahead and spray with an alcohol. And now you want to just wipe it and the heat sink too. You want to remove all this old thermal paste here. Honestly, I don't know who puts this type of thermal paste on this one. It shouldn't be called, not even thermal, it's a toothpaste cut almost. Okay, once we have it really nicely cleaned up, you want to grab your thermal paste, a proper thermal paste. I use an Arctic MX4. These are one of the good brands. You can go even better. You can put a, a thermal grizzly thermal paste. These are one of the highest one and the second highest one. These are one of the two top thermal paste. So what you want to do, you can put a little uh, drop in the middle or you can just do a cross the way that you like it. I'm going to do a tiny cross. Next, you want to grab the, what's called? The, uh, the speaker, plug in the speaker cable first. Then you want to rotate this one. First, put the heat sink side under this case, bring it over, and now you want to bring the heat sink evenly over and you don't want to lift it up. You want to first cross stitch them always, cross screw them. So, I screw this side a little bit, go back on this end, 
do a little bit that one go on the other side do a little bit and you want to continue this until you get it all the way down so with two rounds it should be locking down in place there we go now what you want to do you want to grab the fan bring it over place it in right there put the screw screw down the fan now bring down the Wi-Fi antennas right there or whatever you if you had them if you didn't don't put that I'm just actually gonna leave one in there but I'm actually gonna change the Wi-Fi board right there and the last thing would be grabbing the top cover in the same position that you removed place it right there and then it slide it backward and last this screw goes at the back and i really hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out and if it did please click that thumbs up button and if you have any question or request leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video